So at the moment, I am paying $2,462.36. That's equivalent to Philippine pesos of 85,197 pesos and 66 cents every month. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Yayang Veloso, a Filipino registered nurse working and living in New Zealand. Cheers. Ah, uh, I'm really sleepy because I partied last night in Christchurch city center. I went home at 4 a.m. Nice, eh? All right, guys, for this vlog, I am going to share to you my monthly expenses here in New Zealand. So I've got the list here using my whiteboard. This is the second time that I've used this whiteboard. The first time was when I did a vlog about caregiver salary. So this is really helpful. Now for the expenses, there are expenses every month that are really necessary, that I really have to pay for it, non-negotiable, like the rent, uh, the food. There are also expenses that I can just stop it, but I think it's it's really important. That's why I, I keep subscribing to it and paying for it. Like for example, the gym membership, the insurance, and we'll go over it why I am subscribed to those uh, extra expenses. All right, let's start. Okay, so I'll start from the smallest one, from the, from the, from the smallest amount to the highest. Oh, small, no oh, wait, highest, no, smallest to the biggest. <laughs> highest is, okay, lowest to highest, smallest to biggest. All right, number one, Google storage. So I am paying $4.99 for Google. Um, this is a storage that I subscribed to Google in order for me to get extra storage for my phone. My phone is 512 gigabytes of storage. But you know, I take selfies, I take videos, and I, I use my phone to film as well. So I really need extra storage. $4.99 doesn't really hurt. All right, now the second expense every month is my gym membership, which is $30. All right, I go to the gym four times a week, as much as possible, three times a week, if I can't do it four times a week. And here in New Zealand, you can't do really lots of things as compared to in the Philippines. In the Philippines, after work, you can you can visit your family, your friends, your relatives, your neighbors. You know, you, you can hang out there. So what I've been doing is after work or even before work, I go to the gym and it's really good for the mental health. That's one of my outlets here as well. You know, whenever, whenever I feel bored. Third expense is the insurance. So I am paying $33.37 every month, okay? Before, the previous company that I worked with, they covered my insurance, so this is the same insurance. And um, because I am now working as a as, you know, self-employed, so that's why I am paying for my insurance privately. All right, so this is really helpful, especially in my case, I am diagnosed with gout and every now and then my gout flares up, especially last year. I had a very bad gout flare up, so I always go to the doctor. We call the doctor here general practitioner. GP so if you if you hear someone advise you go to your GP that means go to your doctor so I I've been to the doctor multiple times last year and it's really helpful this insurance now I'm just gonna touch base um, what are the coverage for the insurance dental is $500 ear care is $300 optometrist $100 prescription glasses contact lenses $250 Primary care, $250. Self-care, $250. And that's every year, right? So the one that I most commonly use is the primary care and the self-care. So primary care, say for example, I have $250 every year coverage. So if I go to the GP, usually the GP consultation fee is around $50. It depends on which clinic you go to. So $50, so if I use my insurance, I only pay 25% of the $50. So my insurance will cover 75% 
of that $50 that I am meant to pay. So that is my insurance. And the self-care as well, meaning self-care, this includes, I use this a lot as well, chiropractic, you know, those messages, physical therapy. Yeah, I've used this heaps a lot in the past, especially last year. If you have questions about my insurance, just put that in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer those questions. Number four, we have here the insurance for my car. All right, I'm paying $104 every month. So this is really, really helpful and I used this last year. So I am, I'm paying comprehensive insurance. Every time I bump into another car or I bump into a property, then my insurance will cover it. But I have to pay $500 excess. There was one time, I think that was in 2021, I went to Auckland and I met some friends there. And then my friend who, who lived in Auckland that time, I told her, can you drive? Because I am not too familiar with the roads in Auckland. She was the one driving and what happened was she, you know, a, a, a truck hit our car, but it was, it was our fault. It was your fault <laughs> uh, because she drove, she drove on the, on the, you know, that white, white line and so she was at the center of the white line instead of driving within the white line if you know what i mean but anyway a truck hit our hit my car and so i called my insurance and they told me okay um just go to the shop and then they will fix your car but you have to pay 500 dollars excess you know the total amount of the repair was i think around six thousand new zealand dollars my car cost i think 11,000 New Zealand dollars. So anyway, um, it's really helpful. So I didn't pay 6,000 New Zealand dollars. I only paid 500 New Zealand dollars, but my friend who was the one driving paid me. And also for the insurance, it also covers road breakdown. If you're driving and you get a flat tire, so all you have to do is to call your insurance company and then they will send someone to fix the car. They might tow it to the nearest shop or they might fix or they can fix it on the road so it happened to me in 2022 we went to Milford Sound and then one of the rear wheels got a puncture from a, from a metal I think that was a big nail on the road and the tire got punctured and so we called the insurance and someone went there and towed the car, took it to the nearest shop and fixed it. So it's really, really helpful. Now, number five, petrol. I am paying $150 for the petrol every month. So that's only from home to work, all right, home to work. If I go to other towns, then it would increase. But if I am only driving from home to work, home to grocery, home to malls, then that's only $150 every month. Number six, which is, which takes the, the you know, the, the, the big part of the expenses, which is the rent and food. I am paying 700 New Zealand dollars for the rent and food. I am living with my sister and my brother-in-law and my sister does the grocery shopping and so um, she's only asking me to pay seven dollars and that already includes the rent the electricity the internet and the food so that's why it's really a wise choice or wise decision to live here with them but there are times as well that i live out especially if i have assignments in different other parts of the country now last year in September, October, and till November 16, I worked in Wellington, so I paid my own rent and food. So for the rent, I paid $880 every month, and the food was around $150 every month. So that's a total of $1,030 New Zealand dollars when I was living on my own. So guys, the total that I am paying every month okay one thousand twenty two dollars and thirty six cents and that's equivalent to thirty five thousand three hundred seventy three pesos and sixty six cents there are still other 
expenses that I am paying at the moment, right? As what I've mentioned in the intro, I am paying $2,462.36. What are these? Okay, now I am paying for my credit card. So I'm paying $240 every month for my credit card. Last year, I worked, I started working as, as you know, self-employed individual, as a contractor, and I am paying for my my debt to IRD. IRD is like is the Inland Revenue Department. It's like Bureau of Internal Revenue in the Philippines for my tax. And I am paying $1,200 per month. And this will finish on March 31st. Two more months to go or oh, three, three more months to go for that. And car registration. I just renewed my car registration yesterday and you can actually choose whether to renew it and have it for three months, six months, or one year. Or I think they also have a month, two months, three months, four months, up to one year. But I had it for six months, so I paid $57.41. So this is really, you can avoid this. You really have to renew your car registration and New Zealand Travel, uh, New Zealand Transportation Agency, NZTA, will send you an email whenever your car registration is about to expire. So I usually renew it for six months. Now the last one is the warrant of fitness. Okay, this is renewed every year. So warrant of fitness is you are going to have your car checked by uh, by a car specialist. You go to a shop in the Philippines. We call it mechanical, but there are you know you should go to a shop which is registered by New Zealand Transportation Agency to check your car. Whether there are any problems, uh, if there are no problems, then you will be issued a warrant of fitness which is good for one year. So the amount that you pay actually depends on which shop you go to usually the amount varies from fifty dollars to sixty dollars and that's for a year so that's it guys and the total amount that i'm currently paying right now including that credit card and the tax that i am paying every month at the moment is two thousand four hundred sixty two dollars and thirty six cents and that's equivalent to eighty five thousand one hundred ninety seven pesos and 66 cents so that is what i am currently paying every month in order for me to survive here in new zealand yeah you know i i think this is you know th this is actually the least of those expenses that i could have last year i was paying extra for netflix i stopped it because i don't watch netflix now i prefer reading books what? and yeah gym i can't i can't stop it it's really really helpful car insurance it's really really helpful i was about to to get a content insurance which is really helpful as well a couple of my friends really advised me to do to do it but not yet at the moment considering the the amount that i'm paying every month Month, maybe in the future yeah guys if you are in New Zealand watching this vlog if you have any advice or any tips as to how I could lessen my monthly expenses just let me know or if there are any subscriptions that you can recommend that's really really helpful just let me know put that in the comment section below if you are in the Philippines or if you are outside of New Zealand who are planning to come here in New Zealand well I hope guys that I was able to give you an idea what are those expenses that we incur every month in order for us to survive <laughs> I always use the word survive. So yeah guys, I hope you find value in this vlog. If you do, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click that bell button for you to receive notifications whenever I upload new video. And thank you so much guys for watching my video and please watch my other videos as well. And as always, mm, think young and stay young. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away